What's going on, fellas? Well, today is Wednesday, and we are actually going to upload a video today, which is weird. So you might be watching this video like on a Saturday or Sunday or Monday or Tuesday or whatever day you're watching it. But we did miss an upload yesterday because we do Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. And I did a little post on my Instagram said, hey, what do you think about doing a tour of the boat and the truck? We're getting ready to pack it up. It's not fully packed yet. We're getting ready to head to Champlain, last term of the year. And I wanted to take you guys inside the Trocar Battle Wagon because the days are numbered on that one. We've got a new 2020 on the way. So we're not sure how much longer we're gonna have that particular vehicle. And also, this is basically almost the last tournament of the tour season other than the championship. So let's go check them out. Like I said, we'll go out here and uh, do a little, do a little reveal, reveal. That's right. Okay, come on. And by the way, guys, this this is what we call um, an impromptu. No, not impromptu. Impromptu. Like, I literally am going to just take you guys on a peek inside the boat and the truck. We didn't really prepare for this, so I'm not real sure what we're going to find. Brandon? I'm not sure what we're going to find, Brandon. Did you clean the truck out, Brandon? Did I clean the truck? Yes, did you clean the truck out, Brandon? <laughs> the Chevy Battle Wagon. This has been, honestly, been the best tow vehicle that I've ever had. Uh, 160,000 miles on this truck. Not any issues at all. We've had the lift on here since day one. We've had it, you know, everything all tricked out and haven't had any problems. This of course is a diesel. Diesel 2015, believe it or not, Duramax HD. We put a six and a half inch BDS lift. Now here's the deal on the lift. Check this out guys. So here's the lift here. Fox shocks, six and a half inch BDS lift. Now, I didn't know anything about lifts, but I kept researching all about lifts, and I kept hearing that the BDS stuff was really, really good. And I'm so glad I did do the BDS because it rides factory. It really does. It really drives like a factory vehicle. So big shout out to BDS for making a super, super good product. All right, so here we have General Tires. These are the Grabber. These are uh, 35s, believe it or not. Nice little wheels there. Little. Uh, Dick CPEC wheels. That's about it. I mean, as far as that goes, we have a light bar up here that I put on. And really, I'm not digging the light bar. I, I mean, I'm, I might might not do the light bar on the next one. I'm not sure. Let me know. What do you think, guys? Because here's the thing about light bars. It's like when you turn it on, the whole hood lights up. And it's like a big glare. I don't know. I don't know about the light bar thing. So, might not do light bar. Might do some custom steps or something on the next vehicle, which would be cool. And the wrap. This wrap right here was done by Custom Graphics and Designs in Okeechobee City. Custom Graphics and Designs, Okeechobee City. They did a good job on it. And then back here. Now here's one of the cool things that I did. Actually, the coolest thing that I love about this truck, believe it or not, as silly as it may sound, is this silly backup light, okay? I, I use this more than anything on the truck because at night when we're at the boat ramp, early in the mornings when we're getting ready, I flip that on, it illuminates the whole boat, illuminates everything around us. And I can actually get out here and work. Got the rod tubes up here, and then um, close that. Yeah, this broke off. That broke off. Ran it. <laughs> That's oh, not a oh, Chevy part, so. That's. <laughs> I gotta go. Hang on, I'll be right back. Okay. Yeah. yeah. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, we're gonna have to get that fixed. For real, because carrying this around. The rest of the year is not going to be a good idea. And we have to go ahead and tape this up. This is this is kind of, this isn't good. Multiple seasons of wear and tear. Yeah, we keep kind of fixing that, and it never really gets quite fixed. I kind of tape it, and I've done all, uh, yeah, bad. Anyways, deck system in the back. I've had this actual, this is the actual deck I put in here three years ago. Obviously, it's still brand new looking. Works great. Keep all my tackle boxes in here. Uh, you've seen me talk about this. It's good. I've got my jack in here. That's a good tip to carry. Guys, when you're traveling like we do, carry a big floor jack. If you ever do get a flat tire. Will that even what? work with this? Why not? <laughs> Will it go high enough? 4,000 pounds, baby. Well, I'm not worried about the weight issue. I'm worried about the height issue. Really? <laughs> and then you, do you even have a spare tire? I don't know if it No, I don't have a spare tire. We just don't get I don't have a spare, actually. Well, I do. It's this little tiny spare. We'd ride like this. We'd ride off sideways and everything. But nevertheless, you do need a floor jack because if you get a flat tire, it's hard to... Um, quit messing with me, dude. Quit messing with me. You're messing up my rhythm here. All right. And the other deck system. Boy, this looks clean and organized, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, guys, like I said, this is, this is just an M 
impromptu. No, impromptu. I said impromptu twice. Is it impromptu or impromptu? I don't know. Hmm. Anyways, I don't know. Anyways, this is my other side here. I don't know. We have reels in here. I have some loose reels. I have some. What is this? I have. Wait. Those are my sock warmers, dude. Bro, my feet it's, warmers. It's 100 degrees outside. I get cold, okay? Don't be messing with that, dude. Just in case we get into where I like borderline flip flop weather, I can stick these right on my foot itself. Dr. Martin foot warmer. Yeah, we have that. That's for the boat, obviously. I have the diesel treatment as well. But that stuff right there is pretty legit. And then vinyl clean, which actually I use a lot on just about everything. Uh, hats, extra hats. I, I don't even know. Why am I showing you all this? Oh, there's some tools. Look, see how organized we are? This is our tool section right in here. Oh, oh look. Bam. How about that? Yeah, that's a, that's a deodorizer. We need that. We, we, we that. use this all the time, actually, because Brandon kind of no. feet no. Max shoes. The other day, Mac Hoover. Oh, my gosh. He literally had this gagging. That was bad. That was the worst. Ever. That was the worst. Mac, that was so on. bad, dude. I'm just throwing that out there. Don't ever get in my truck again with them. Those were awful. Well, we put everything in these tubs and boxes, of course. We just, things that just get shipped to us. The Traeger, you see it, we get, it goes everywhere. And what I did on that Traeger, and I know you guys have seen the uh, videos, I took the legs off. This is the tailgate version. Just take the legs off. And I set it on the tailgate. That's why it's called a tailgate version for me. I like it. And it's set in the back of my boat, too. Anyways, deck system that I, I do have a rubber mat up here. This is pretty good to have up here. That kind of keeps everything from sliding. So it's just a little mad I got it. Anyways, this little video is kind of not going great. I, I hope you're still with us. But anyways, that's the truck. Oh, come up here to the front. We got to we gotta give Chevy, Chevy just a little bit more love real quick. All right, here's one more, one more love for Chevy. Chevy, thank you very much. I've always been a Chevy man and uh cannot wait but check out check out the check out the guggen baits license plate yeah that's right uh-huh yeah only one like that chevy's been a good vehicle for me and i tell you what guys here's the deal you got to have a lot of confidence in your equipment as many miles as we travel and all the tournaments that we do having a vehicle that gets you back and forth to the ramps super important 2020 coming and then this one's going to find a new home maybe with one of you guys maybe with one of you guys what do you think what do you think now hey hey that's here, hey, let's go. Let's go do the boat. Come on. Whoa, how about that? Just right back in the boat now. Uh, I don't have these still. I have no idea. All right. Z520 Ranger. That's my boat. It's been a good one. I, you know, people ask me all the time, why do you like the 520s? Why don't you get a 21? They're a little longer, a little bigger. For me, I just like the 20 because it's like a little Corvette, right? With this Evander G2, it pushes it fast. The L series actually rides through the water really good. So it's a real comfortable boat. Let's check out the. Uh, compartments here here we go you ready you ready for the big reveal all right there we go check that out that thing's awesome see a hot no you can't see hang on hang on this isn't working this isn't working brandon bad idea all right so <clears throat> guys here is how i have my boat laid out basically in here this is the center rod locker i don't put many rods in the center rod locker I keep my rods over here we'll show you that in a minute my center rod locker here i used for just storage but i do put spinning rails in here once in a while like the my spinning rods or just a couple extra but i don't fill this side up too much i keep everything in these little tubs and i kind of organize things based on the tournament you know what i mean like practice i'll have a bunch of stuff in here like all these compartments are full in practice then come tournament day i start fine-tuning everything out throwing out things that i don't really need who wants to see what's in these boxes i, I don't know this could be bad <coughs> brandon white Guggen baits. Yes. Yes. The white bandito bug. That right there is my little creation, guys. People want to know who came up with the bandito bug? Yeah, me. I designed it. Okay, so there it is there. All right, so here's what we're going to do. These little tubs are full of random things. Zoom swim bait. I do like those. I like those. Putting those on like a, actually, on, ooh, on that head right there. Okay, no, no, this is, this actually going to turn out to a little fishing tip for you guys. A little revenge head. Okay, I like the revenge heads personally. I like them on these little, like, hollow body swim baits. These are zoom. I like them. They're good. Then, uh, oh, here's something crazy. Who knows what that is? Who beat me last year with this? Drop a comment down below and let me know. Okay, now, let's see what else is in there. There's that gigantic 10XD. Do you like scrounger heads, Brandon? What's the I mean, biggest fish that you caught on a scrounger head? I don't think I've ever used a scrounger head. How do you, head. how do you, you, how do you think you use a scrounger head? I don't know. I just, what would you put on the scrounger head? 
uh, a swim bait? <laughs> I don't know. I love the hesitation we have. A uh, swim bait? So that's enough in there. Let's see what else. Oh, here's something kind of cool. Okay, I didn't really plan on showing you guys that, but that's a hair jig with a blade on it. These, these are kind of like getting the secrets of what's in my boat without really knowing what's in my boat. Like, so that we're just opening up things and just seeing stuff because this is not all set up. Lures are tools, my friend. Lures are tools. I love live target. I love Ugin baits, but I have to throw other things occasionally because we don't make everything. Mm -hmm. This right here, Scott's Pro Swim Bait. Yeah, big fish, dude. Big fish on that. Little the head like this. Here, I'm gonna throw out a tip for you. Revenge heads right here. I love that head. That's the best one. That's the one you got. Right there. Okay, good. Put that on that kind of swim bait. Okay, and you're good. More Guggen baits. Oh, let me put those back in there. Those back in there. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Hey. All right. Here is the other box. Brandon, go ahead and start pulling some things out, my friend. Life jacket. Are. Life jacket. There you go. Yeah, that's an AFCO life jacket. Well, Another. it's actually, oh, two. Life. Yes, two. That's where I keep my life vest. What is that, Brandon? Looks like crawls. Yeah? It's showing crawl dance. Now, I, I did have a bunch of people ask me, why do you have your Guggen baits in these lure lock boxes? Well, first of all, uh, I lay everything in there pretty flat like this. I don't lay it on its side, okay? So it's very important to know that. If it was laying on its side like this, and things could get crunched up a little bit, but having them flat, they do pretty good out of the containers, and I like just having it all real quick and organized like that in the little rock box. So that's just me. I still have a lot in containers, but cracking crawls. What is that? That's a rat, dude. Does anyone actually use this? Yeah. All right, so this is where I keep all my tackle in here, and um, just have it pretty much all organized in there. Now, last compartment. Here is this one, same kind of deal. I have a scale, I have my little Berkeley scale. I have a Rejuvenade. I put that in my water for my fish. Uh, yeah, yeah, I have some. He forced me to get some. Who keeps, forced you? Yeah. Dude, he keep, oh, well, he keeps catching so many fish, I had to. Yes, it <laughs> juice. Pops juice, yeah, that's pretty cool, huh? Bet you hadn't seen that one. Over here, we have my rod locker. Now, I don't have many rods in here right now. Not many rods in here, right, Frank? I know you're wondering. What, what is this? What's that? That's my sock, dude. <laughs> it's an, it's an extra, it's a neck, extra footy. It's a, one of them footy socks, okay? Look, people buy neoprene reel covers for like $22. I buy a pack of ankle socks and wrap them around my reel. La -la. Look, perfect. Pop it off. Then, Two things. Here's what's great about this. Multi-purpose reel cover, okay? Number one, great for covering the reel. Number two, if you lose a sock one day, you've got an extra sock. You're going, hey, I've got socks. I've got an extra sock. Or you lose a glove and you need, like, you have cold hands. Yes, I have an extra sock because I have them on my reels. Or nature calls. <laughs> you do not have anything to take care of the nature situation. Don't worry, I have a sock. Yeah, now I don't reuse the sock after nature calls, okay? Yes. <laughs> but I just put it right on like that. Yeah, done. Yeah, see, there's more socks. All right, look, come back here. Come back here. Let's see what's in here. This is probably pretty nasty. Probably pretty gross. We need to clean that out before we leave. That is a very important thing to do, guys. You notice how dirty that is? You want to clean out your live wells. You don't want to have um, all that bacteria, dirt, scales get all stuck in your uh, pumps. So it is really good to clean out your live wells properly. Your water will flow better. Your pumps won't make so much noise. And if you're wondering what these are, these are my call balls, calling balls. Yes. And they have a little weight. You can change the made by Ardent, kind of cool. You can change it, like six pound, nine ounce bass. At Champlain, if I catch a six nine, I can clip that on the fish. And then I know, hey, I wonder where my six nine is. Oh, here he is. Here's my six pound, nine ounce bass. Compartments back here, pretty simple. Kind of a lot of the same stuff. And then, oh, oh guys, here, check this out. Number one, G2, 250, HO. Uh, awesome motor, 
I've been running, I've been running Evan's products my entire career, guys. I just don't have problems with them. I just don't. We just don't. I don't. There's nobody at the that's having problems with them. Just a solid, solid motor, a lot of power, quiet, super good on fuel economy. I mean, they're awesome looking. You can customize them whatever you want. So, I mean, seriously, check out the Evanry products. They are really spot on. Black power poles back here. Bob's hydraulic jack plate. I've been running Bob's for my entire life, like literally. I think I was like 14 years old, we had a Bob's on one of our saltwater boats. I've never seen one break, ever. I don't know anybody that's ever had one break. I mean, they just work every day of the week, no matter what, always. And then, uh, this is pretty cool. Back here, guys, check out those Lithium Pro batteries right there. Those are Lithium Pros, 12 volt, 36 volts. Yeah, you know why I like those, Brandon? Tell everybody why I like these. Tell, tell everybody why I love Lithium batteries. The lightweight. Yes. Fast charging. Yes. I think that was it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. I, I don't know. I don't know what else. Oh, we we almost forgot something very important. Very important. Come on. Oh, real quick as we're walking by, these are my Garmin units. I've got them rigged up on my um, Boat Logics mount very heavy duty mount these boat logic mounts are hardcore I mean they're heavy duty they don't break ever I haven't had any problems with them As a matter of fact this is the same exact bracket from my last year's boat so I've had this bracket and my front brackets on for almost two seasons now and zero issues with them got my hydro wave up here on the other side mounted got my two Garmin units mounted right here uh, recess Minn Kota, of course really cool and what I did here on my power pole switches just in case if y'all want to rig up your power pole switches is I put one on each side, so my up is over there, and my down is over here, and that way I just kind of know without looking which one I need to hit to go up or down. Why did you let me forget? What? Angle coolers. Oh. That's my 25 quart. See it? Can you even see that? 25 quart. It's a good size. I don't know. It's just it's a, it's actually just a very heavy duty cooler to be honest with you, and I can stand on it walking back and forth. And I, for my cooler that's built in the boat, which is cool, I have all my cleaning supplies, like my Star Bright cleaning stuff, like Bomb Guard and Extreme Clean and rags and extra drinks. I think that's it on the boat. I think. Did I forget something? No, but I did forget something in the truck. Here, come on. Kicker. Yeah, almost forgot kicker. Guys, we tricked out this truck with... um kicker a couple years ago and it's been awesome all we have in this truck is an amp and two solar barrack eights which are right back here here let me let me see let me see right there solar barrack eight right there very nice very nice and another one over here on this side and then the amp is literally right there you can see it yeah so that is the deal two eights in the back uh, I actually have can speakers underneath the truck so like if we're at boat ramps or at events or something, I can flip a switch and there's actually speakers on the outside of the truck, which is kind of cool. A lot of people didn't know that. So thank you very much, Kicker, for hooking me up on the truck. It sounds amazing and uh, and all that's good. So guys, it's hot. As you can see, I am sweating like crazy. So guys, that is it pretty much. The Probably the most impromptu check my boat out, check my truck out video that we've ever done. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you stuck with us. But you know, that's what you guys wanted. We did a little poll on Instagram yesterday. You said, heck yeah, then we want to check it out. All I do know is we got to finish uh, packing this thing up, get ready to head to Champlain, and we've got some more videos coming your way, guys. So that's it. That's it. It wasn't anything fancy, but you got to kind of check the boat, check the truck, and uh, thanks. Thanks for hanging out with us, guys. We will see you later. Bam! Thank you.